So hello again my friends to another lovely evening in the Oxfordshire countryside and to another video that's not sponsored by Squarespace or anyone else for that matter. So what am I up to? I think this is about the uh, the eighth time now I've gone out uh, so far unsuccessfully looking for owls uh, in particular and uh, each and every time I've gone out I haven't managed to come back with anything not even the briefest of sightings which has been a little bit frustrating to say the least so uh, with any luck that might be remedied this evening we shall see so what I'm hoping for is that as the uh, evenings get longer I mean so this evening we're gonna have sunset supposedly at 8 o'clock uh, it gives me all the more better chance at spotting something uh, and also as the uh, as the days progress it's more likely that they might have chicks on the nest and be needing to feed more so that's the hope of and that's the reasoning why I keep coming out in the hope that I will spot one and this evening I'm headed up to a field that I had spotted on one of my first walks around here um, which was a small field amongst a bunch of paddocks, horse paddocks which has been left to grow wild a little bit so my hope is that uh, it'll present a decent habitat for the kind of animals that uh, barn owls and the like like to prey upon so I'm just coming through directly to those fields okay so I've just come out onto the field which you can see behind me here and uh, you can't really tell from this distance but it is uh, full of potential um, for voles and mice, field mice and that sort of thing um, which I shall show you in a minute hopefully not the mice themselves but their little burrows there's also I think on the other side there a warren, a rabbit warren so there's going to be plenty of rabbits as well which could potentially attract a fox or two so that is the plan is to find myself a location up here uh, set the camera up with a tripod um, hide it behind the uh, the uh, camouflage gauze that I have and sit it out and wait. So I've got myself uh, all set up uh, back there. I don't know if you can see the hide. Just uh, put a little bit of a tree down there. And I shall wait it out in this field 
the edge of this field to see what happens along. Now, what I was uh, talking to you before is, uh, you can see here, there's one I found. See that little hole just here? Now that is the hole of, and you can see little passages that they make just through the grass. Um, now that is either a mouse or a vole and it, the field is full of these as well as rabbit ones which I will show you over here. Um, so my thinking is that this is a fantastic field for uh, prey species of owls. Uh, in particular barn owl and so I'm hoping that uh, I might get lucky enough to see one during the daylight um, as the days are getting longer now you can see here this is a rabbit warren you can see where they've been digging in the bank here and behind there and lots and lots here Oh, there's a lovely butterfly as well. So yeah, <coughs> there's, um, although I doubt they'll, unless there's baby baby rabbits running around in the field, I doubt an owl would pick one of those, because they're quite large. But um, there's, uh, like I said, lots of uh, voles and mice in this field. Um, so with any luck, uh, we might catch a, an owl hunting over this field. And what I will do as well is set the camera up, if I can find it, the um, camera trap, trail cam, um, at a decent spot to keep an eye over this field for the next uh, couple of weeks. And I shall check in on it occasionally to see if we found anything. So whilst it's quiet and I'm not going to be disturbing anything I think I'll do that now so uh, let's go and find a decent spot <laughs> in the blind now. Um, I struggled to get the trail cam uh, up into a decent location. The, the, um, the bushes along the edge of the field here are just full of thorns and getting access to the trees that are just behind them is almost impossible. It is impossible and I actually had to put it um, on, the, um, on the main branch, the main uh, trunk of the, the bush and clear a little hole through the through the branches um, for the for the trail cam to actually see out onto the field. Um, and in the process, got myself full of holes. Um, anyway, I, I'll probably only leave it up a few days because it is uh, a little bit sketchy uh, of a location for it. So I'll see what happens. I'll see how it goes. Basically, I'll leave it up there for a couple of days and see if it records anything, any movement at all, and um, play it by ear. And uh, in the meantime, I'm sat in the blind. Again, this location isn't the best, but um, the, this field hasn't got much to offer um, in terms of having a decent uh, vantage point over the field and offering a decent point in which to um, set up a blind. So uh, this will have to do, I guess and uh, hopefully it'll be good enough uh, if something should come along uh, for me to be able to get some photographs of it anyway we'll see we'll see so i'm just going to relax for a bit I'll wait for the sun to go down and have a cup of tea i shall catch up with you all in a little while
it's about um, 45 minutes or so to go before sunset and uh, nothing so far with me other than uh, a couple of red kites it's a lovely um, sunset just poking through a couple of clouds which are diffusing its light and it's quite lovely so yeah a couple of uh, red kites came along what else uh, and um, a female pheasant as well I had a wander through the field before she was um, spooked by a walker. Unfortunately, most of the places that I've discovered around here, although they do have wildlife, they've also got lots of people walking through them, especially now with a lockdown. And uh, in the middle of the week when you wouldn't, I guess, not normally expect to find many people out and about in these parts, um, there's quite a few people walking around now. Um, out for their daily exercise so yeah it's um it's a little bit frustrating even here when, just because I'm very near the path where I've set up here and the um, guy came with his uh, hunting dog but he was training up and throwing the um, the bait out into the field for him to run and get so yeah still you never know something might still come along so the sun literally just dipped over the horizon and it looked absolutely magnificent beautiful red ball big red ball it was absolutely stunning but Absolutely nothing has made an appearance. Not even the rabbits have come out to play. So I have about half an hour, I guess, more light. Usable light, that is. And then I shall have to call it quits. So it's just gone. It's almost eight, it's three minutes to eight. So I have until about 8.30 I'm guessing. And then I'll pack up and go home. I'll switch the trail cam on. And see if that records anything overnight. And uh, I'll come back in a couple of days to check on it. Give it just a little bit more time and then we'll call it quits. Okay, so I had one rabbit come out, poke his head in the distance up above the grass. Uh, again, very distant shot, hardly any light at all no left. So I'm gonna pack up, um, switch the trail cam on, and head back home for dinner. Thank you.